all right this video will be quick i'm not going to spend a lot of time on here i'm not even gonna well i'll put a I'll, maybe i'll do a new ending video with some pictures of some of this newer stuff i haven't done one for a while but i wanted to do a giveaway and this is why i do this um if you're doing youtube you can promote your channel with google but you know if i if i make you know let's say last month just make up a figure let's say last month i made fifty dollars in revenue off my videos google youtube will take half of it it's like sharing they're taking half of what advertisers are paying me plus then they want you to pay let's say i put thirty dollars towards this video if i put thirty dollars towards google ads they're going to guarantee me like eh, let's say five thousand views 200 likes and they're going to keep that video at the top till it it achieves that in that frame of views whatever i'm not using that 30 dollars i'm using it to look and i'm going to start giving all kinds of stuff away um, i find lots of stuff i can only you know what are you going to do with all this stuff um a lot of this stuff like these points are pretty nice but you know, I found way better stuff to go in displays like in a museum for the public and stuff. I can't really keep all this stuff. I'd kind of like to, you know, there's some pretty nice points in here. That fish spear is awesome. But this is the giveaway. These are all points I found. Here's a nutting stand. This is from West Virginia. It's a nice one. It's got a deep hole and it's the displayable size. It's just, you can lay that right with your stuff on the display and it's not a huge one. It's easy to move it's a nice example um and you know it's hard to find these off the river they're all made of sandstone almost all of them um and as soon as the disc hits it you can imagine what happens to it they're, they're done but let's see one two three four five six seven eight these are all pretty recent points they're all personal finds they were found on video on my channel this one's from a while ago um all of them are washington county i signed the back of the frame put where they're from they're all documented i found them all on video um like this one's not that long ago that's not that long ago this one's pretty recent i actually think that's in a cover image maybe um this is recent this big sandy's recent but this is what i'm giving away all you have to do is comment and subscribe and you know i, I know I'm not going to be a stickler on the subscriptions. Um, if you don't like my videos, that's fine. If you want to try to win these, you can you can comment and you can get in on it this time. I'm doing this to get people interested in, in it. And let your kids enter this. This would be a nice starter collection for a kid. It really would. To get them interested in it, and that's what I'm trying to do. You start out with this, it may turn in to this for some kid. And that's kind of the goal here um you can see here here's the amos i just found you can see kind of the series of them and the points associated with them like this stuff here i need to take this out i try to keep all my stuff site specific age specific to show the forms of the points the variations in them and a lot of this stuff if you really really look you'll start realizing that some stuff guys are calling other types or just you know let's say there was 20 guys making these amos points all of them were taught by the napping master their tribe whatever however you want to look at that there's going to be variations in every one of these points from the maker and a lot of times there'll be amos points but somebody's calling them a palmer or a kirk or and it's not just like this on this type of point it's all types of points and on all these Amos sites, I'm finding these big sandy-ish looking things, but they're beveled. This has a bevel to it. That almost looks like a hardaway. I don't know. But those points are associated with these points. You see just the variations in them here. Not as much serrated, really serrated. Not as much serrated. You've got that squared off angled notch in the rounded one here. In certain areas, all of them are made this way. And I don't think it's a type of an Amos point. I think that guy that was making them to facilitate the happening was doing this on one side. That's just how he made it. And you can see this one doesn't have it. Kind of. It's kind of got that one stronger notch. But there's lots of traits of these points that 
that vary from point to point. There just is. These are all recent ones. Maybe I'll get out my huge frames of these. I have frames of these that have thousands of them that are as nice as these ones in the middle from the last eh, 30 years that I've found pre-YouTube. I've been looking for this stuff for a long, long time. These points, like I said, aren't from this, well, this one is, but these two here are not from the site with this other stuff. Like this isn't. Um, that's from another site, but that's an early point. I think that's a Stringtown Lance. This here, this kind of shallow side notch thing isn't related to these serrated points. I don't know whether to call that a Brewerton or what. It's kind of orange flint. It looks like Carter Cave. I'm not sure if it is. It might be a river cobble, but that's after it's dried out. You know, I'm finding these in a wet environment. This point is lightened up and it really looks like Carter Cave flint. And the area I found it in is in the distribution realm of that material, so I would say that's what that is. It's translucent, real nice. Like this point from another site, this one, this one. But the rest of these serrated points and these bladelets and stuff are all associated. That point from a different site too. I would say this is one of these Riverton bird points. It's dinged. I would say that is, eh, it's Flint Ridge Nethers, I would guess, that is. It's kind of got the striations in it, and I was finding flakes and nethers in that area. Here's some Amos type drills. Here's a pretty recent Amos. That one's from December. The barb sharpened off of it, and it's got a tiny tip ding. But this is still my favorite one. This thing is just, look at how delicate these things are. I could snap that tip off right here probably with my thumb pressing on it. It's that delicate. So are the serrations on the edge and they're all there. It's the kind of stuff I'm looking for all year. That's my favorite point in this frame. There's a reason why I got these out. You can put in the comments which point you like in here the best. I like this one. I might send this one to Jim Bennett, maybe with one other one in here, because I, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to look through this stuff because I'm still limited on money. I got a lot more rolling in now, but things are coming together. I've got to figure out what I've got to paper. Um, I, I like this, and I like. I, I think I might paper that pendant I just found, but I think I want to send that. I found a grooved addle waddle handle weight, and I've never found a grooved one before. It's made of sandstone, and I'd like to see what he says about that because I don't find a lot of stuff like that, and I don't know a lot about that kind of stuff, and that's why I want to send that first. I might send that piece is the stone piece. I found it earlier this year. Um, it's about that big, and it's grooved, and it's got a groove across it too, and I, it's a rare piece. It's much rarer than that pendant. So, take a look at these. These are all 2020 ones here. Here's the one I just found in my last video, and you can see it's right in this series of points. You can see the variation in materials and black canal right there, that one that I'm laying it on. It's the same material, same sake. They like that stuff. So here's another one, recent. And that barb's not broke. Some of them are sharpened that way. I have a whole series of these that the, it just, one shoulder is sharpened off purposely. It's sharpened off, there isn't any doubt. And it's like a trade of the maker. He made them all like that. Just kind of a, you know, that's, that's kind of cool. And you know, of course, some of them are broke. This would have been a smoker, a smoking stein, a true one. It's another black and all one. But there's a look at these. I'm gonna send these things here the 21st. It'll be like, you know, the day after that, because I'll have to get all the stuff ready and the forms filled out. But I'm gonna look through all this stuff and get a series of stuff. I'll be limited on what I'm sending, but I'm gonna start sending, you know, every time I get paid on YouTube, two or three items every month, the best items from that month, and it'll make a difference here. But for this stuff, all you have to do is I got the back labeled all up. It's all signed by me, all case collection with the nutting stand, and I'll even throw in something else in the box. I'm gonna probably ship this in a medium flat rate box. I'll double box all this stuff and maybe I'll throw some bottles in, some nice ones, local bottles that I've found, stuff like that. 
so thanks for watching all you have to do is comment i'll pick a winner in like i don't know 48 to 72 hours on my next upload maybe i'll go to a museum or something look around show you some stuff and we'll announce the winners then